YouTube this is 81 Donnie here with another video um, I'm going to be doing a video of my recent pickups for the past week um, some of its most of its game related then I have something that's not game related so I'll go ahead and start going over that real quick um, first off I got this game gear game with the uh, local goodwill it's um, Batman returns haven't played it yet, so I don't know what it's like. Um, the next thing I got is Super Mario 3 with the sleeve. I paid a buck for that and um, 50 cents for this. And the next one I got is another NES game. It's F15. It's one of the ones that um, is not licensed. So that's the reason why I picked it up. Um, There's also a buck. The next thing I got is Arch. I'm sorry, Arch Rivals. Um, it's a basketball game. It was also a buck. Didn't have it, so I picked it up to add it to my collection. The Super Mario 3, I had that one. It just doesn't hurt to have, you know, more than one Super Mario in your collection. <laughs> um, so the next thing I got at the Goodwill is this uh, PS1 game. It's Medieval. It's the first one. I haven't played it, but I played the demo when it first came out, like on the demo discs. Um, it seemed pretty good back then, so I'm going to go ahead and play it and see what it's like. It's complete with the book and everything. Um, and then the next thing I found is this Paper Mario. Um, there's the sticker price. It was $3.99. Um, I have this, but the one I had didn't have the book with it, and this one's complete with the book. So, pick that up for the GameCube. And that was at, um, some junk place. Like, I've drove past this place like a million times, but I never stopped. And then finally, um, I believe it was Friday, I stopped in there and looked around, and oh my god, there's so much junk in there. It's unbelievable what's in there. It literally take you two or three days just to walk through there and see what they have. It's ridiculous. Um, the next thing I got at the Goodwill was this um, PS2 Slim model. Um, I don't know if it works or not because I don't have the power cord. All I have is the, um, the audio video cables here that go to it. It's missing the 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 DC outlet I don't have it um, if anybody has one an extra one and they want to sell it I'll be more than happy to buy it from you just let me know and how much you want for it and I'll be more than happy to buy it from you and pay the shipping for it um, and the next thing I got from that junk store um, I went up there on Friday and I seen this up there and I asked the guy how much he wanted for it. it's factory sealed it's never been opened um, and he said nine bucks. Um, I was going to get it then, but I didn't have cash on me. All I had was my, my credit cards and stuff. So, and they don't take that. All they take is cash. So I went back up there today a while ago to see if they still have it. And I brought cash up there with me and sure enough, they still had it. And I asked the guy, there's a different guy working. I go, how much do you want for the baseball cards? And he looked at it and he goes, oh, I'll take eight bucks for it. So I'm like, cool, I'll take it. And I was looking around and I seen this big old box of um, different magazines in there. Um, so I asked him if he would take, can, I asked him how much he wanted for the magazines. Cause I just wanted a few out of there. I didn't want all of them. There was just a couple that I actually wanted out of there. And I thought he was gonna say a quarter each or whatever and he goes I'll take four bucks for the whole box which there's probably at least 20 or 30 magazines here so I'm thinking okay that's 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 fair four bucks so I take the baseball cards up there and the the box of um from the box of magazines and I asked him if he would take 10 bucks for both of it and he said uh all right 10 bucks so I ended up getting all this for 10 bucks so I mean and I was originally going to pay nine bucks for the baseball cards from the other guys, so really I got off really good. <laughs> um, then this box 
was some um, really cool anime magazines, which I'm not into anime, so if anybody wants these, just um, send me a message or whatever. They're from like 03 and 02. Um, if anybody wants these and is interested in them, I'll be more than happy to send them to you. Um, this one came with a really big, cool poster. Um, it's really cool. It's very bright and pretty cool for a poster. I mean, if I was into anime, I would definitely, you know, consider having this. It's pretty cool. So that's one with the anime magazines. Um, like I said, if anybody wants to just email me, I'm not sorry, not email me, um, send me a message and I'll be more than happy to send them to you, whatever ones you want, there's quite a few of them here, um, and then these other magazines here I don't want, if anybody wants any of these, just, you know, send me a message, it's, uh, 13, it's a, I guess like a skater magazine, and then this here is a Japanese rock magazine, which is kind of cool. Um, some Photoshop magazines, um, some, I guess, rock band magazines, um, this one here has never been open, it's still sealed, pretty cool, rock band, uh, another Photoshop magazine, some more rock band magazines, some more rock band magazines, um, these are from like, 02, I think, 03, and then, a um, a tattoo magazine if you're into tattooing it's pretty cool it's got different stuff in there so if anybody wants any of those email or keep saying email send me a message and let me know what you want and like i said i'll send them to you um then the next thing that i got in there that i'm that i'm these are the ones that i was interested in um resident evil 4 um a dreamcast magazine a game informer magazine Another Dreamcast magazine. This one here was the one that I actually wanted. It's a Final Fantasy uh, 10 strategy guys, the official one. So that's pretty cool that I ended up getting that. Electronic magazine, electronic gaming magazine, uh, EGM magazine, a Game Informer. This here is like one of the original Game Informers. I remember getting these at like GameStop. They used to be free. They would give them to you. Um, another cool thing that I just found in there is a Turbo Graphics uh, magazine from 92. This is really, really, really cool. I was kind of looking through it and some really cool stuff in there for the Turbo Graphic. Um, a Game Informer, uh, Nintendo Power, another Nintendo Power with Mario Sunshine. This is another one that I wanted. Uh, PSM magazine, uh, Xbox magazine. A magazine called Play. I've never heard of this. Um, but it's got video games and stuff in there. A lot of these, they came from like England. Like, especially like these rocker magazines or something. And then, there's a PC software magazine. So, I mean, it's from England. It's like, and then a, um, the disc for Photoshop came with that. And then this really cool uh, Metroid poster was in there also so that's pretty cool Metroid um, Prime poster that's pretty cool so yeah that's my um, pickups for the past week leave some comments let me know what you guys think uh, subscribe like I said if anybody wants any of these magazines I'll hold on to them for a while if you want them just send me a message and let me know which ones you want and I'll be more than happy to send them to you. And then if anybody's got one of those DC power adapters, please let me know about that too. I'll be more than happy to pay for that. Uh, if you got any extras laying around for the PS2 Slim. Um, that's about it. Thank you guys. Uh, I'm going to do a special when I hit 25 subscribers. I need one more. I have 24. Whenever I get 25, I'll send out a shout out to everybody. You know, big thanks for everybody. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Montag lieben Klausen Globen. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy.